Batchawana Island is a privately owned, approximately 2,480 hectare, undeveloped and forested wilderness island. Situated within Lake Superior's Batchawana Bay, just off the Trans-Canada Highway, 45 kilometers north from the Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada International Airport. At the property's closest point, it is separated from the mainland by a 410 meter wide deep water channel with strong currents that remain open year round, with rare exceptions during abnormally cold winters. The last major economic activity on the property was in the late 1960s when it was logged for hardwood saw and veneer logs and has remained undeveloped ever since and is one of the largest privately owned islands on Lake Superior. During our numerous field visits to survey the island by air and by water, R&B Cormier Inc. has observed a very healthy population of moose, porcupines, pine marten, timber wolves, fox, turtles, and bald eagles. The property owner has decided it is time to either sell the property or seek out development opportunities with interested partners and or co-developers, which could include sustainable logging. R&B Cormier Inc. has been commissioned by the property owner to undertake a forest and land cover inventory by means of 30 standard Ontario government ground-based timber cruising plots and stereo aerial imagery photo analysis to create an updated forest stand and 3D land cover inventory. The resulting inventory and cruise plot data was used to develop a commercial forest product growing stock based on local empirical yield tables and two to three year sustainable harvest to prepare the property for carbon offsets or recreational developments. To facilitate development, R&B Cormier Inc. has developed a three-dimensional land surface model of the property using the aerial stereo imagery to support the growing interest in wind and green energy-based projects nearby. The property's unique location on the windward size of the largest lake in North America. R&B Cormier has also developed estimations of potential revenues from sustainable logging and forest carbon offsets now that Ontario has joined the Western Climate Initiative along with California, British Columbia and Quebec where cap-and-trade systems currently or soon will exist and will allow trading in carbon credits among the initiative's members. An opportunity report summarizing our surveying work mapping and analysis on the property is available to all interested parties by contacting R&B Cormier Inc. via our website at www.rbcormier.com.